Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I've filmed. I was in Canada for a couple of weeks for the first time in like almost three years with the kids. It was amazing. It took some time to just chill, relax. And now we're getting ready for a lot of Pearl Beauty launches this summer and early fall. So I'm very excited. It's a go, go, go season. So I just wanted to feel elevated, glowy with a hint of like a bronzy taupe vibe. <laughs> Nothing too new. You guys know that I like to do everyday makeup looks, but that's what you guys come here for. So I'm going to provide a lot of new products that I really, really enjoy at the moment. So I'm going to go from this to this. Let's get right into it. Starting with base, I'm going to take my Chanel Le Beige's Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid in Sunkissed. I always call it bronzed, but it's the Sunkissed bronzy shade. I think there's maybe a pinky one, but I really like this. It's a thinner formula and consistency to the By Terry CC Serum. So if you want something a little bit more lightweight, then you'll love this. It's amazing. They both kind of give the same finish, like a glowy sun-kissed base, but it depends on consistency and coverage that you prefer. Okay, for base, literally I'm holding it in a Ziploc bag because I have a like a love dislike, I'm not gonna say hate, love dislike relationship with it. I really like the finish of it and the wear for like a very simple glowy everyday look but for the smell and like just the overall packaging i don't like so it's not enough for me to not use it because i actually like the performance of it which is kind of all that matters really but <laughs> it's the wt wtf from jones road it's called what the foundation it's kind of a hybrid product i'll tell you my my dislike with it the smell is very off-putting when you open the jar. Once it's on the face, you don't notice it, but if you just are very smell sensitive, you're gonna notice that. I have light and beige. I'm gonna take beige. It leaks. It's like a leaky, oily kind of leak because there's a lot of skincare ingredients in it. It just gets very leaky, which is not cute. So when you open this, again, it's not really aesthetically pleasing to look at. It gets quite dirty. Ooh, I, like, I don't wanna like, I'm not bashing this because there's so many positive attributes of the performance of it, but I don't know if the packaging was the best call because like there's literally oil on the lid and like I didn't even travel with it. You can see there's a little bit of oil on the top layer of that. It looks like a cream. If the oil wasn't there, it looks like a cream, which that's what we're going for. Comes with a little spatula. We're just gonna mix it up. It looks like a cream that you would have on your counter. And maybe that's the kind of product it is. Like you're not supposed to have it in a makeup bag, like in a traveling kind of makeup bag. It's literally supposed to be on like a makeup desk because it doesn't travel well. It doesn't move well, let's just say. Less is more with this. It's like a, it's an interesting product. We're gonna use our hands with this, okay? Do not use this tool with it. It literally will like pull it off your face. It's best to use with your hands to really use the warmth skin on skin contact to melt it into your skin. It has a lot more coverage than it looks, but it also has a really hydrating part to it. You need to let it set. It's going to look really hydrating right after you blend it all out, but it will set after a couple of minutes and it just really gives the most beautiful finish to your skin. Like I always get a compliment. As you know, I have very oily skin. As long as you set that T-zone, you're going to have a glowy finish everywhere. Okay, so you can see there's a definite shine, a glow on my face. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. It gives coverage, but a skincare finish. For under eye concealer, I've gone back to the Kosas concealer. I have it in the shade 2.5C. I'm gonna put just a little bit under my eyes because it has a lot of stretchability. Now, before I blend that out, I'm gonna take a higher coverage concealer, which is the NARS Soft Matte. I think I have it in the shade Light 2.8, which is Marron Glacé. Anyways, I'm gonna take this on areas that I need just a little bit more coverage. The next product is this Refi powder. It's new, comes in two shades, 01, 02. One I think is a little bit more of a yellow undertone and two is a little bit more of a pink. So you have a warm and a cool option. I'm starting to gravitate to more cool undertone under eye things like concealers, powders, anything like that because it really brightens that area and the difference majorly with this is it's a water to powder powder so it's very wet feeling and then it dries in a powder finish it took me a couple days to kind of get the hang of it you can't use a damp sponge just because it's a wet formula it won't pick it up and it just doesn't work you need to use a dry sponge i've not tried it with a brush yet but i just let my beauty sponge dry out and then dip it in 
and pop it under my eyes and my T-zone. It's different, it's innovative, and I am reaching for it at the moment, but it's not my favorite powder I've ever used, if I'm being totally honest. Moving on to a cream bronzer, I'm gonna use the Pearl Beauty one that's coming out at the end of June, so just over a month's time, you're gonna be able to use this bronzer. Also, our brush comes out tomorrow, or Thursday, I don't know when this is going live. Thursday, May 12th, the brush, the one cream brush will be launched. I'm so excited, it is so good. Anyways, you can use this with any kind of cream formula. So cream bronzer, cream highlighter, cream blush, cream foundations. It's just the perfect cream brush and it has a nice little slant on it. So you can really carve if you're using it for bronzer. I just love that it blends out everything so perfectly. It's super soft, it does not shed. It's amazing, you'll love it. The handle's just a really nice feel as well. It's not too large. It's just perfect, so definitely go check it out. It's just one of those formulas that, again, like the multi-purpose sticks, you can build up, so it's not incredibly intense pigment on your first swipe, which I always feel like is more for show because those types of formulas end up leaving your skin or fading quickly throughout the day. So it's one of those formulas that have a little bit more of a balm consistency and you build it up to the depth and consistency that you desire and you're in control of fully and it lasts all day. This ain't moving, which is my biggest pet peeve with cream products. When it moves, especially on oily skin, I need this to stick, to stay, and have longevity. So this cream formula will give you that. I'm gonna give another little spritz of the setting spray, again, just to melt everything together and to ensure longevity and a nice glow. Moving on to blush, I wanna keep nice rosy peach vibes. So I'm gonna mix put together and easy going and it's gonna give me that perfect rosy peach on my cheeks, putting it over my nose, right onto my temples. Okay, we're gonna move on to our eyes and I'm gonna keep it quite neutral with a pop of sparkle. So I'm gonna take this Bare Minerals. It's kind of like an eye base or an eye primer. It's in the shade, low key. It has like a taupey brown. Um, I'm sorry, you guys, like it's progressively just getting darker and darker. Like this room is almost <laughs> pitch black. <laughs> I'm hoping the camera can keep it bright for you, but we're taking low key all over the eye. It's just gonna be a nice base and take out any discoloration and give us, you know, a clean slate. And then I'm taking a Stila Liquid Shimmer and Glow Eyeshadow. These are so good. It's in the shade Gray, so it's a nice bronzy taupe shade. So I'm gonna put that all over my lid, mostly in the inner corner for a bit of a pop. Okay, to kind of coat my lash line, I'm gonna take the Benefit Roller Liner in brown, which I feel like is one of the most underrated liquid liners. I've, especially in the last year, have really gravitated to pencil, cream liners, and then just winged up the sides. I haven't actually used a lot of liquid liners, and I repurchased this one late last year, and it is so good. Like, it is such a good liner. So I have it in black and brown, but I'm feeling the browns today. So I'm gonna keep it very much on my like tight line maybe a little flick at the outer corner, and I'm gonna keep the bottom line free. No surprise there. Mascara, we're taking the Item Beauty Mascara, which is Addison Rae's brand. I have raved about this on Instagram and TikTok. It is such a good mascara. It's a tiny little wand, but it gets every single lash. It really lifts it, and it doesn't transfer or smudge, which is my number one pet peeve with mascaras. Highly recommend it. It's hard to get in the UK, but if you can get it in North America, definitely get it. I'm gonna let whatever is on my lids dry so I can just flake it off, flick it off. Okay, I'm taking off the lip gloss I had on my lips, which was the Too Faced, what is it called? Like the one that really like plumps and tickles your lips. It was intense, I forgot about that. I'm gonna take the Refi Lip Sculpt in Taupe. Out of this entire bundle, the gloss is the hero product I can do without the liner. I love the gloss, it is so good. Final thing I'm gonna add is the Pearl Beauty Cream highlighter. It's going to be in the shade Glazed. Again, coming out with the cream bronzers, end of June. Worth the wait. Just wait till you see. It's so pretty and natural. It's just going to give me a little elevated glow because you guys know I don't like it too intense. Just want it very skin-like. So this is in the shade Glazed. This is the final look. Again, nothing dramatic. It's just showing new products, things that I'm liking, reaching for. I wanted a glowy, taupey kind of look today, so hopefully you enjoyed. All the products will be linked down below as always. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and press that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next video.